Welcome. Today we delve into the dark heart of dictatorship, not in the history books, but in the workplace. Imagine this, a boss who demands absolute obedience, their word is law. Dissent is met with icy stares and threats. This, my friends, is the reality for countless individuals across the globe. The modern workplace, for all its progress, still harbours these tyrants. They hold sway over livelihoods, careers and aspirations. But how do we as individuals navigate this treacherous terrain? How do we survive and, dare I say, thrive under the iron grip of a dictatorial supervisor? Join me as we unlock the secrets to enduring and perhaps even overcoming this all-too-common workplace scourge. Our journey begins in the annals of history. A history of tyranny. Throughout the annals of human history, the shadow of tyranny has loomed large, casting a dark pall over countless societies and civilizations. The very essence of tyranny is the absolute power wielded by a single individual or a small group, often leading to widespread suffering and oppression. History, my friends, is replete with tales of tyrannical leaders. These figures, often shrouded in infamy, have left an indelible mark on the pages of history their actions echoing through the ages as stark reminders of the perils of unchecked power. From the blood-soaked sands of ancient Rome to the chilling reign of terror in revolutionary France, dictators have left an indelible mark on civilization. The stories of these tyrants are not just tales of cruelty and oppression, but also of the resilience and resistance of those who lived under their rule. Think of Caligula, the Roman emperor whose whims could mean life or death for his subjects. His reign was marked by extravagant excesses and brutal punishments, a stark reminder of the dangers of absolute power. Caligula's tyranny was not just a personal vendetta against his enemies, but a systematic oppression of his people, who lived in constant fear of his unpredictable wrath. Or consider the chilling efficiency of the French Revolution's reign of terror, where Robespierre's thirst for purity led to the guillotine's chilling embrace. The reign of terror was a period of extreme political repression and mass executions, where the guillotine became a symbol of the revolution's ruthless pursuit of ideological purity. Robespierre's vision of a virtuous society led to the deaths of thousands, a grim testament to the destructive power of fanaticism. These historical figures, though separated by time and geography, share a common thread, an unyielding lust for power and control. Their reigns were characterised by a relentless pursuit of authority, often at the expense of their subjects' freedom and well-being. The methods they employed to maintain their grip on power were varied, but the underlying motive was always the same, to dominate and subjugate. Their stories, though centuries old, hold valuable lessons for us today. By examining the rise and fall of these tyrants, we can gain insights into the nature of power and the importance of safeguarding democratic principles. The study of tyranny is not just an academic exercise, but a crucial endeavor to understand the dynamics of power and the ways in which it can be abused. For within their tyrannical reigns lie the echoes of our own experiences with dictatorial bosses. The oppressive leadership styles of historical tyrants can often be seen in modern workplaces, where power-hungry individuals impose their will on subordinates, creating toxic environments. By recognizing these patterns, we can better navigate and challenge such dynamics in our own lives, striving for a more just and equitable society. echoes in the workplace. The boardroom might not be a battlefield, but the tactics of a dictatorial boss can feel eerily familiar. Micromanagement becomes their weapon of choice. Fear and intimidation their loyal lieutenants. Just as a Roman emperor might quell dissent with a scowl, so too might a dictatorial supervisor silence a differing opinion with a withering glance. But the consequences, while perhaps less dire, can still be devastating. Stress, anxiety and burnout become constant companions. Creativity is stifled, innovation crushed under the weight of fear. But there is hope. The stakes are high. 
The cost of enduring a dictatorial boss extends far beyond the individual. Productivity plummets, morale evaporates. Companies bleed talent as bright minds flee the oppressive atmosphere. The very fabric of the organization begins to fray. But fear not, for within the pages of history and the insights of modern psychology, we can find the tools to not only survive, but thrive in this challenging environment. In this video, we'll explore these tools, empowering you to take control of your career destiny. Stay tuned. Ah, the 20th century. A period marked by unprecedented progress, but also by a darkness that engulfed the world in two devastating wars. At the heart of this darkness stood figures like Adolf Hitler, a name that sends shivers down the spines of even the most hardened historians. Hitler's Germany, a nation seduced by his venomous ideology, became a chilling example of what happens when absolute power corrupts absolutely. His reign, though seemingly a world away from the boardrooms and cubicles of today, holds a stark warning for us. For within the machinery of the Third Reich, we see the devastating impact of a dictatorial system on the human psyche. Imagine, if you will, living under the constant threat of the Gestapo, Hitler's secret police. Fear permeated every aspect of life, from the whispered conversations in hushed tones to the ever-present threat of denouncement. To question, to dissent, was to court disaster, to invite the wrath of a regime that brooked no opposition. Yet even amidst this climate of fear, there were those who dared to resist, who clung to their humanity in the face of unimaginable cruelty. Their stories, though often tragic, offer a glimmer of hope, a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who refuse to be broken. From the ashes of World War II rose another dictatorial power, the Soviet Union under the iron fist of Joseph Stalin. Here, in the name of communism, another reign of terror took hold. Millions perished in the gulags, victims of a system that valued conformity above all else. Stalin, like Hitler, demanded absolute obedience. His word was law, his paranoia legendary. But even in this oppressive environment, there were those who found ways to resist, to preserve their dignity, and to fight for a better future. Within the Gulag Archipelago, Alexander Solzhenitsyn, a survivor of Stalin's gulags, wrote a chilling account of life under a totalitarian regime in his seminal work, The Gulag Archipelago. He describes a world where freedom was but a distant memory, where every word, every action was scrutinized for signs of disloyalty. Solzhenitsyn's work serves as a stark reminder of the human cost of dictatorship, of the way it crushes the soul and extinguishes the light of individuality. Yet even within the depths of the gulags, Solzhenitsyn found hope, finding solace in the resilience of the human spirit. Beyond the battlefields, the lessons of Hitler, Stalin, and countless other dictators resonate far beyond the battlefields and gulags of history. They serve as a stark warning of the dangers of unchecked power, of the seductive allure of authoritarianism. For the tactics of a dictator, though often cloaked in different guises, remain chillingly familiar. The micromanagement, the fear-mongering, the suppression of dissent, these are the hallmarks of a tyrant, whether they rule a nation or a boardroom. A universal tyrant. You see, my friends, the dictatorial boss is not a new phenomenon. They are the modern-day incarnations of a tyranny that has plagued humanity for millennia. Their methods may have evolved, their tools may be different, but their goals remain the same. Control, power, and the suppression of any voice that dares to challenge their authority. But fear not, for just as humanity has found ways to resist and overcome tyranny throughout history, so too can we find ways to navigate the treacherous waters of the dictatorial workplace.
Working under a dictatorial boss isn't just unpleasant, it's a descent into a psychological maelstrom. Imagine, if you will, the constant tension, the knot in your stomach that tightens with each barked order, each passive-aggressive email. The mind, bombarded by this relentless pressure, begins to fray at the edges. Self-doubt creeps in, whispering insidious doubts about your abilities. The once clear lines between your professional and personal life blur, the stress bleeding into your evenings and weekends. Sleep becomes elusive, haunted by nightmares of spreadsheets and unmet deadlines. Stress, my friends, becomes your constant companion, a toxic presence that seeps into every aspect of your being. Your health, once robust, begins to crumble. Headaches become a daily occurrence. Your immune system, weakened by the onslaught of cortisol, surrenders to every passing cold and flu. The joy you once found in your work evaporates, replaced by a sense of dread and resentment. But the consequences, I'm afraid, extend far beyond the physical. Fear, that primal instinct designed to protect us from danger, becomes a weapon wielded by the dictatorial boss. It stifles creativity, crushes innovation, and transforms once vibrant teams into groups of silent, obedient automatons. The fear of speaking out, of challenging the status quo, becomes paralyzing. Employees, terrified of reprisal, resort to self-censorship, their ideas and insights left unspoken, their potential left untapped. The organization, starved of the lifeblood of creativity, begins to stagnate, its competitive edge dulled, its future uncertain. Imagine a garden where only one type of flower is allowed to grow, where any deviation from the prescribed color or shape is met with swift and ruthless pruning. This, my friends, is the fate of innovation under a dictatorial regime. New ideas, those seeds of progress are choked before they can take root. Employees, conditioned to prioritize obedience above all else, become risk averse their entrepreneurial spirit extinguished. The organization, once a vibrant ecosystem of creativity and growth, transforms into a barren wasteland, devoid of the dynamism needed to survive in today's rapidly changing world. Now, you might be thinking, this sounds dreadful, but is there any evidence to support these claims? Well, my friends, I'm here to tell you that the science is unequivocally clear. Numerous studies have documented the devastating impact of dictatorial leadership on employee well-being. A 2018 study published in the Journal of Applied Psychology, for example, found a direct correlation between authoritarian leadership styles and increased employee stress, burnout and turnover. The research is clear. Working under a dictator isn't just unpleasant, it's downright detrimental to your health and well-being. But the evidence goes beyond individual well-being. A 2020 study published in the Harvard Business Review titled The Toxic Effects of Authoritarian Leadership found that companies with dictatorial leaders experience lower levels of employee engagement, reduced productivity and decreased profitability. The data is irrefutable. Dictatorial leadership is not only bad for employees, it's bad for business. So, my friends, we find ourselves at a crossroads. The consequences of enduring a dictatorial boss are severe, both for the individual and the organization. But fear not, for in the next act, We'll explore strategies for navigating this treacherous terrain, for reclaiming your agency, and for thriving even in the most challenging of work environments. Thank you for staying with us. Thus far, we've journeyed through the dark annals of history, witnessing the devastating impact of dictatorial rule. We've explored the psychological minefield of working under a tyrant, the stress, the fear, the stifling of creativity. But despair not, for this is not a tale of inevitable defeat. This is where we equip ourselves with the tools of survival, 
the strategies to not only endure, but potentially even thrive in this challenging environment. Remember, my friends, even in the darkest of times, the human spirit possesses an extraordinary capacity for resilience and adaptation. Robert Greene, in his seminal work, The 48 Laws of Power, offers a pragmatic, if somewhat Machiavellian guide to navigating the treacherous waters of power dynamics. One of his key insights, never outshine the master. In the context of a dictatorial boss, this means understanding their ego, their insecurities, and learning to play the game, at least to a certain extent. This is not about becoming a sycophant, but rather about choosing your battles wisely. To survive a dictator, one must first understand the creature. Dictators, whether they rule nations or boardrooms, are often driven by a deep-seated need for control, a fear of being perceived as weak or incompetent. Their dictatorial tendencies are often a defense mechanism, a way of masking their own insecurities. By understanding the root of their behavior, we can begin to anticipate their reactions, to navigate their triggers, and to minimize the potential for conflict. Building your defenses. Now, surviving a dictator is not about becoming invisible, about shrinking yourself to avoid their wrath. It's about building resilience, about developing coping mechanisms that allow you to maintain your sanity and your sense of self. This might involve setting firm boundaries, both physically and emotionally, to prevent the stress from bleeding into your personal life. It might mean finding an outlet for your frustrations, whether it's through exercise, creative pursuits, or simply venting to a trusted friend or therapist. a calculated retreat. There are times, my friends, when the only winning move is not to play. If you find yourself trapped in a truly toxic environment where your mental and emotional well-being is being eroded on a daily basis, then it might be time to consider a strategic retreat. This is not about admitting defeat, but rather about recognizing that some battles are not worth fighting. It's about prioritizing your own well-being about seeking out environments where your skills and talents are valued, where you can thrive, not just survive. Seeking counsel in chaos. Navigating the complexities of a dictatorial workplace can be a lonely and isolating experience. It's important to remember that you don't have to go through this alone. Seeking guidance from trusted mentors, therapists or career coaches can provide invaluable support and perspective. They can help you to develop coping mechanisms, to set healthy boundaries and to explore alternative career paths if necessary. Remember, my friends, asking for help is not a sign of weakness but a testament to your strength and self-awareness. Navigating the choppy waters of a dictatorial workplace can feel like sailing through a storm with a tattered map. The winds of uncertainty howl, the waves of stress crash around you, and the fear of making a wrong move can leave you paralyzed. But take heart, for even in the most treacherous of seas, there are lighthouses guiding lost souls back to calmer waters. And in the tempestuous world of work, one such beacon shines brightly, in yoga coaching and consulting. We at MJoga understand the insidious nature of dictatorial leadership. We've witnessed firsthand the damage it inflicts, not just on individuals, but on entire organizations. Our team of experienced coach and consultants have dedicated their careers to guiding individuals like you through these dark and treacherous waters. We offer a lifeline, a compass, and a map to help you navigate this challenging terrain and emerge stronger, more resilient, and ready to thrive.
Our approach is not about simply enduring the storm. It's about equipping you with the skills and strategies to take command of your career destiny. We work with you to understand the specific challenges you face, to identify your strengths and weaknesses, and to develop a personalized action plan for success. We provide you with the tools to communicate effectively, to set healthy boundaries, and to build your resilience in the face of adversity. Testimonials from the trenches don't just take our word for it. We've helped countless individuals break free from the shackles of dictatorial bosses and achieve their full potential. John, a former client, put it best when he said, working with M. Choga was like having a secret weapon in my back pocket. They gave me the confidence and the strategies to not just survive my tyrannical boss, but to actually thrive in my career. More than just survival, it's about thriving. Our mission is not just to help you survive, it's to empower you to thrive. We believe that everyone, regardless of their work environment, deserves to feel valued, respected and fulfilled in their careers. We'll work with you to identify your passions, to clarify your goals and to develop a roadmap for achieving your dreams. Whether you're seeking to advance in your current role, to transition to a new career path or simply to reclaim your sense of purpose and joy, M. Yoga is here to guide you every step of the way. Your journey to empowerment begins now. Remember, you are not alone. The first step towards reclaiming your power is to reach out for support. Book a complimentary career breakthrough call with M. Joga Coaching and Consulting today. Let us help you navigate the choppy waters of your career and chart a course towards success and fulfillment. Your journey to empowerment begins now. Lessons from the battlefield of work. We've journeyed, haven't we, from the blood-soaked grounds of history to the sterile battlefields of the modern office. The transition from physical combat to mental and emotional skirmishes is stark, yet the essence of struggle remains. In the past, warriors clashed with swords and shields, their battles etched into the annals of history. Today, our battlegrounds are cubicles and conference rooms, our weapons are emails and presentations, and our victories and defeats are measured in deadlines and deliverables. From the shadow of the swastika to the soul-crushing weight of the Iron Curtain, History has shown us the devastating impact of oppressive regimes. These dark periods were marked by fear, control, and the suppression of free thought. The swastika, a symbol of hatred and tyranny, cast a long shadow over Europe, leading to unimaginable suffering and loss. The Iron Curtain, a metaphorical barrier, divided not just nations, but also hearts and minds, stifling the spirit of innovation and freedom. We've seen the human cost of dictatorship, the way it crushes the spirit, extinguishes the light of innovation, and leaves behind a wasteland of broken dreams. In the workplace, this can manifest as micromanagement, lack of autonomy, and a stifling environment where creativity is not just discouraged, but actively suppressed. The dreams of employees, once vibrant and full of potential, wither under the weight of oppressive leadership, leaving behind a landscape of frustration and disillusionment but we've also witnessed the indomitable spirit of those who resist, who find ways to not just survive, but to thrive in the face of tyranny. These resilient individuals become beacons of hope, showing us that even in the most challenging environments, it is possible to rise above adversity. They innovate, they inspire, and they lead by example, demonstrating that the human spirit is not easily broken. Their stories remind us that resilience is not just about enduring hardship, but about transforming it into an opportunity for growth and change. We've learned that even in the darkest of times, hope, like that tenacious flower pushing through concrete, can bloom. Hope is the lifeline that keeps us going, the belief that better days are ahead. In the workplace, this hope can be nurtured through supportive leadership, a positive work culture, and opportunities for personal and professional growth. 
It is the small acts of kindness, the recognition of effort, and the encouragement to pursue one's passions that cultivate an environment where hope can flourish. We've explored the psychological toll of working under a dictator, the stress that gnaws at the edges of our sanity, the fear that stifles our creativity, the insidious erosion of our self-worth. This stress can manifest in various ways, from anxiety and depression to burnout and disengagement. It is a silent battle that many fight daily, often without recognition or support. Yet, even in these conditions, there are those who find ways to channel their stress into creativity, using it as a catalyst for innovation and problem solving. They remind us that while stress is an inevitable part of work, it does not have to define our experience. With the right support and mindset, it can be transformed into a powerful force for positive change. Charting your course to freedom. This is where your journey truly begins, where the path to your professional liberation starts to take shape. Imagine yourself standing at the edge of a vast ocean, the horizon stretching out before you, filled with endless possibilities. The choices you make now will determine the course of your future. And we are here to help you navigate these uncharted waters. But remember, my friends, you are not alone. In this vast and often intimidating landscape, having a support system is crucial. Your colleagues, your mentors and your friends are all part of this network that will help you stay afloat and steer you in the right direction. We at MJoga Coaching and Consulting are your allies in this fight for your career, for your sanity, for your very soul. Our mission is to stand by you, to offer a helping hand when the waves get rough, and to celebrate your victories, no matter how small they may seem. We offer the tools, the strategies, the unwavering support to help you navigate this treacherous terrain. From personalized coaching sessions to comprehensive career development plans, we equip you with everything you need to succeed. Our resources are designed to empower you, to give you the confidence to face any challenge head on. Whether you choose to master the game, to build your defences, to execute a calculated retreat or to seek counsel in the chaos, remember this, the power to change your destiny rests within you. You have the ability to shape your future, to carve out a path that leads to fulfilment and success. It all starts with a single decision, a single step in the right direction. Take that first step towards empowerment. Embrace the journey with an open heart and a determined spirit. Understand that every setback is a setup for a comeback and every challenge is an opportunity for growth. The road may be long and winding, but with perseverance and the right guidance, you will reach your destination. Book your complimentary career breakthrough call with us today. This is not just a call, it is the beginning of a transformative journey. A journey where you will discover your strengths, overcome your weaknesses, and unlock your true potential. Our expert coach and consultants are here to listen, to guide and to support you every step of the way. Let us be your guides, your mentors, your champions as you navigate the choppy waters of your career and set sail for the shores of success and fulfillment. We believe in your potential and we are committed to helping you achieve your dreams. Together we will chart a course that leads to a brighter, more fulfilling future. Remember the words of the great Nelson Mandela, it always seems impossible until it's done. These words are a testament to the power of perseverance and the human spirit. No matter how daunting the task may seem, with determination and the right support, you can achieve the impossible. Take charge, take heart, and above all, never ever give up. The journey to freedom and fulfillment is not an easy one, but it is a journey worth taking. With each step, you will grow stronger, more resilient, and more capable of achieving your goals. Good day and Godspeed.